Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to Asset Podcast here on YouTube. I don't know if I ever covered any Sunny Chiba stuff, really, ever. I'm thinking about it. I don't think I have. Okay. Quick Sunny Chiba, martial arts guy, big in the 70s, and, you know, most people nowadays know him. He showed up in, um, what was it, Kill Bill? Uh, he got mentioned. True Romance was what really broke him to the U.S. crowd when he got mentioned in that, but people went to Grindhouse, people that knew 70s martial arts cinema knew of him. I didn't discover until about 80, I was 12, 13, so 86, 87. Got lucky, a buddy of mine, his uncle, was, it, it was about, about 15 years older than us, was into all that kind of shit, all kind of, you know, Grindhouse cinema, all that kind of shit, so he had seen a bunch of this stuff and was telling us about it, and it happened to like, he like tracked down VHS copies and shit like that. The only time this guy had between bootleg and legit, his VHS collection was like six, seven thousand tapes. I'm a lot of martial arts. The Street Fighter is probably his best known one. If you got to fight, you got to fight, fight during their Sunday, they're just beating the shit up here. So, see where he rips the guy's throat out. There's the infamous scene where he punches the guy and it goes to like a x ray and it shows like the force of blow hitting the guy's heart and destroying the heart and the heart explodes. The movie was when it came out. Rated X for violence, also known as Kung Fu Street Fighter, a mercenary karate master is hired by Yakuza, a mafia to kidnap an old magnet's daughter. After the fee for kidnapping is denied, Terry, Sonny Chiba, converts over to the good side of the law, smashing heads and then tearing off limbs along the way after biosomography structure selection. Somehow, and I have no clue how, and this is a uh, VCI release, all three of these, and there's three of these in this run. Are considered public domain in the States. I ain't figured this shit out. So my first copy of this was like a Dollar Tree, you know, flipper disc. One side was this one, one side was the second one. Looked like ass. These are not bad. I got these in the VCI sale last year and paid about probably about five bucks, which you know, decent covers. They look okay. They're widescreen. I'm pretty sure they're uncut. They say R rated on the back, but I don't really think they are. I think they are the fully uncut version. So when I ordered that, I was like, you know, what the fuck? Maybe we get the sequel. Return of the Street Fighter. The Incredible City Chief is back and he's meaner than ever. Look at that cover. Look at that. Just amazing. Hey, hey, AKA Blood of the Dragon. A Taguru is a mobster where activities you can put in behind bars. So he hires Terry Saguri, Sunny Chiba, to hush a couple of captured employees. Along with taking care of business, his old nemesis appears to secret range of the course, punching, kicking, and breaking bones his own way to a finale. This is badass. This one, and I don't know the actress's name. I should have looked this up. Has this actress. Best way I'd describe her is if they decide to remake Pippi Longstocking, but cast Lucy Liu in the lead role. Oh, this this one is oh. And the guy, like, the guy with the throat ripped down last one shows back up. He's got, like, a voice box shit. Oh, this is so good. Both of these. And, yeah, I know, I know you can you can probably find these exact prints right here. Streaming on YouTube, streaming wherever for free. I didn't mind paying the, it was about 10 bucks. Get nice covers. They look decent. The disc, you know, the disc, they ain't nothing fancy, but they look decent. You notice how some of modern, especially from big companies now, it's just title film, black disc. At least they're putting the title of the film on there. Um, there's one reason I'll never go over the wall and hold it. I had a buddy of mine this years ago when CDs were big. He bought somebody we knew. I can't remember what the hell her name was. She'd been like, she was dating a guy who was in the Air Force. They split up and she wanted to get back to, she lived in like Georgia somewhere. So she needed like 60 bucks for a bus ticket. And she was staying at my buddy's house with him and his wife. And I can't remember who else was there. And she wanted, she's like, all right, she had the money for bus. She goes, you know, anyway, I can get like, you know, 40, 50 bucks. It'll be a couple days. I'm going to show food and stuff. My buddy's like, well, okay. And she goes, well, here, I'll just give you my CD collection. She handed him this, like, two of these humongous CD wallets. They held like 100 discs each. So he had 200 CDs. Okay, yeah, this is 1995. So CDs actually had some value. We didn't know half of them were because almost none of them said anything on top of just graphics. Like, okay, you had to put it in and listen to it. But yeah, fucking Street Fighter, Sonny Chiba. Hope y'all enjoyed them. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, all the other bullshit. Talk to everybody later. Bye-bye.